Welcome to Tokyo Saurus. So what's up in Japan? DZ Ray is an anime from the fall season and also on the list for the top hypest anime for this season that we've covered in a previous video. And episode 00 just dropped and was obviously super hyped because of the whole Kickstarter thing that made it possible to begin with. So many people were waiting for this. Now I'm not one of the visual novel readers, and like many others, I'm coming into this series fresh, so that probably explains what I'm going to say next. But still, I have absolutely no idea what I just watched. The cuts are abrupt, I keep seeing things happening, but I have no idea why. And apparently many people also feel the same way, especially in Japan. Common comments were along the lines of, Give me back my 30 minutes. What is this story even about? I just want to punch the guy with the blonde hair. And I just don't understand. 90 million yen divided by 18 episodes, which is about 5 million yen per episode, is way higher than industry standards for anime. But it seems like what we got here is not of the same quality one would expect from such a big budget production. According to Masamune Sakaki, who is a CG creator in the industry in 2015, he said that an average episode is about 2 million yen. What we have here is supposed to be something double of the average budget. So one would obviously expect a higher than average quality. Now here's where it gets a little tricky. The actual animation is actually not too shabby. I don't think the people here have a problem with how everything looks. Cause to be honest, I think the anime just looks fine. The problem isn't so much in the animation, where I'm guessing is where most of the budget went into. The problem is in the pacing, the screenplay, and I think just translating a visual novel into the anime medium. Now just to give you a bit more background on DS Irei itself, as a visual novel, it is generally very well liked and obviously a very popular visual novel being able to gather 90 million yen on Kickstarter. It is known for its fairly complex plot along with a super over-the-top writing style that many of you will find very cliche at the beginning, but many people also agree that underneath the almost silly sounding plot, the main selling point of the series are the phenomenal cast of characters. The plot itself is nothing too special and almost feels like a Fate Stay Night clone, but it really differs itself in its super memorable characters. And a lot of people just think it's really fun to read and extremely entertaining. Now back onto the subject here, which is the anime version of this visual novel. There's only one episode out so far, so people are going to be looking at this one. But do keep in mind this is a side story from the visual novel, which is a sort of retrospection on the events that will occur, which means once you watch the actual first episode of the anime, things will begin to make sense. And episode 00 will continue to make more and more sense if you continue to watch more episodes because apparently this side story in the original visual novel was meant to be seen after you finish at least one of the routes in the original visual novel. So why they decided to release this episode 00 before anything else is actually pretty confusing to the people who read the visual novel, because obviously none of it will make any sense because there's no freaking context. And most of the people who read the visual novel will pretty much unanimously agree that it was a very weird decision to release this as episode 00 before anything else. So the bottom line is, don't watch episode 00 of DS Ire if you haven't watched it already, and just start at episode 1. I gotta say though, reading the online responses of people who are new to the series watching this for the very first time, was actually far more entertaining than the actual episode we got. But as a huge Face Day Night fan, I'm definitely gonna give it a few more episodes even if it's just to see the crowd's response to this 90 million yen series. Anyways, what did you guys think of DS Ire so far? Think it'll get any better? As usual, let me know down in the comments below. Don't forget to drop a thumbs up, stay subscribed if you want to be updated with the latest that's going on in Japan, and I'll see you guys in the next one.